So we thought we was getting 3.0, but instead we got 2.10. Today I'm going to download and show you how to update your NPC in standalone mode. Let's get it. What's up? This is the King O Caesar bringing you gear reviews, unboxings, and tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and slap that bell notification button like you slap boxing your cousin. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to download the actual software. You have to go to akaipro.com and you have to have a login because this is tied to your MPC or whatever device you have through Akai. So we're talking about 2.10. So this is going to be the MPC one, MPC X and MPC live. When you get there, you're going to sign in. If, if you have a sign in already, most of you guys probably already do. So you're going to sign in and you're going to be able to go to your, uh, your products. So right up here, you're going to go, to your account and then you're going to go to my products now once you get to my products you're going to see right here I got the NPC live and right next to it says see details downloads and offers you're going to click that so once you click on that you're going to scroll down and not too far from the top you're going to see where it says firmware 2.10 you're going to click down on that now, we're using a USB stick to do this. This is how you can update this in standalone mode. If you wanted to do this for your Mac, like, and have it on your MacBook, which we're going to also do, so I'm going to probably download this one too. You're going to download the Mac version and the USB version. So right now, we're just going to download the USB version. So you click that, and to the left, you should be seeing a download. You can't see it because my screen is kind of in the way. If I move my screen up, you can see that in in the uh, in the bottom left corner. So if you're doing this in standalone mode, you need to have a USB drive or you need to have an SD card to put the software on because you're going to need that to to update it in standalone mode. Without that, you're not going to be able to do it. So what I'm going to do is now go into my downloads. So I'm going to go into my downloads right here, and then you see the MPC. Let's bring this out a little bit, goodness. So, <laughs> okay, so you need to know which flash drive you want to put it on. So right here, you can see that this says programs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this from my downloads, and I'm going to move this, and I'm going to drop it into this USB right here, this USB drive. And now it's on my USB drive. Try to make sure that you don't have multiple versions of this because sometimes it'll try to pick up like the older version. So right here I have 2.9 update right here. So what I want to do is I want to take this, I want to actually take this out and move it to trash. I'm telling you it's happened to me before. So if you do have older versions on the USB drive that you've been using, make sure that you take it and, and trash those. If you want to archive them, what I would do is Create a folder on your desktop or on another drive and move those into that so you'll have an archive if, in, in case you want to go back to a previous version. So now that we got that done, we're going to exit out of there and then we're going we're gonna to eject this. And that's just safely removing the drive so you don't have no data loss when you do that. So now that we got our USB safely removed, we're going to take this USB and put it into the back of our NPC and update our NPC in standalone mode. So in the back of your NPC, you have different drives right here. You have, you have a place where you can put two USBs, and I have one already taken up by this drive right here. So, But I always keep one on open just in case I need to add more stuff or samples, whatever, because I don't really mess with the SD card slot that much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this USB drive and we're gonna put it into the back of our MPC. So 
So in order for this to also work, you need to have this in standalone mode. Right now, my NPC is in controller mode. So what you would do is switch it over into standalone mode, and that's pretty simple. Okay, I know it's a little hard to see right now, but I zoomed into the screen of the NPC. So to put in standalone mode, all you would do is hit this button right here that says standalone. I know you can't really see it, but that says standalone. So we're going to hit that, and it's going to put the NPC in standalone mode. So there we go. We are now in standalone mode. So from the main view and the NPC standalone, what you're going to do is you're going to hit menu button. And then you can't really see, but there's a strip at the, at the top. And that's where your settings button is going to be. It looks like a little cogwheel. So if I do this, you can kind of see it. You can't really see it that good when I don't do that. But you can kind of see that cogwheel that's up there. So you're going to hit that. And that's your settings right there. Now, you see the info. All right. And right now, I should show you what current like uh, NPC firmware you're running in standalone mode. Right now, I'm running 2.9.1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift, and it's going to ask me if I want to update. You can see this little button right here that says Update, and I'm going to push, push that button. So right there, it says um, the drive contains firmware update 2.10 for the NPC. You are currently running version 2.9.1. Do you want to upgrade now? And I am going to choose update or upgrade. That's what it says. I'm going to push the upgrade button. And it says, are you sure you want to update your NPC? Hell yes. So right now, my NPC is starting to update to firmware 2.10. Now I'm doing this all live, so I haven't played with 2.10 or anything up to this point. Right now we're doing this together. So you guys are seeing firsthand how you do, how you update your NPC in standalone mode. Once you're done downloading 2.10, it says that new plugin instruments are available for the NPC. To run them, you must download and install their content files. So I guess we have another file that we need to download. With the new NPC 2.10 software, you need to download the content folder also so that you can use some of the instruments because we got a couple new synths and stuff and they have their own libraries. Actually, this is kind of dope because this kind of opens up the realm of like third party plugins in the future because if you ever download a software for like native instruments and stuff like that, you have the plugin that's downloaded onto the actual device, but then it has a separate content folder. So it's kind of interesting that they're doing it like this this time. Um, but just to, to keep this video moving along, you're going to see this right here. It's going to be right where you, where you uh, picked up your 2.10 firmware update for your USB. Right underneath that, it's going to say 2.10 synth content. So we're going to go ahead and download that. And like I said, it should be on your screen on the bottom. So right there, you can see that it's downloading. I'm going to put myself back here in the corner. Looking beautiful. Okay, hold on. I don't want that down. Okay, there we go. So, looks like it's 1.1 gig. So, you're getting 1.1 gig of sound content in this folder. At least that's what mine says. So, now that you've downloaded your 2.10 content folder, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put this on your NPC. Now, you can put this on your USB drive or you can put it on an SD card as well, but I really don't like to have that stuff on there. So what I would do is I would put this on my internal S solid state drive that I added to my NPC. If you're not familiar with the NPC Live or the NPC X, you can expand the memory by up to two terabytes. Like inside it has an internal SATA drive or a SATA connector where you can connect um, drives to to improve or upgrade the storage in the NPC Live. So right here when you have it in standalone mode. So I put my NPC back into controller mode. And when you do that, all your drives show right here. So 
one, two, three, four. All four of these drives I have plugged into my MPC. And this drive right here, the old Caesar drive, is my internal SD or solid state one terabyte drive that I have in my MPC. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take this content folder right here and you're going to want to unzip it. So now I got that MPC send content folder right there. So once you unzip that folder, however you do it, this is Mac, so it just automatically does it. I don't know how you do it on the on the PC anymore. I haven't had a PC in a while, but you have to unzip the file. Then you take this whole folder right here and you move this into your into your drive for your MPC. So as you can see, I got the MPC synth software or synth content in the MPC. We're going to go ahead and put this back into standalone mode and check it out. Just a just a smart tip too. Before you put your MPC back in the standalone mode, what you're going to want to do is eject all your drives first. That's going to make sure that you keep your drives good and that you do, that you have no data loss when you do that. So you want to eject all these drives. And now that I have those drives ejected, I'm going to put it back in standalone mode. Now that we're back in standalone mode, we're going to check our settings and see if we're running 2.10. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to menu again, hit menu. Then you're going to go up to your cog wheel that's up at the top. Hit that. And now it should be showing that you're running 2.10. I know you can't really see that, but my screen says that I'm running 2.10 right now. Go back to main. Make sure that our content is working great. So we're going to go up here. So now that we're back at our main screen, we're going to put our track one into plug-in mode. And then we're going to double tap that tube sent. So now with the MPC in standalone mode, if you want to add the new instruments, there's a certain way you have to do it. So I did it wrong the first time I added the whole folder. I'm going to go back and show you what you have to do. So now you got you got your um, your folder. You're going to go back to your download folder. OK, once that comes up, go to your downloads and then you have this MPC synth content that you downloaded. Right. This is what we did. So you can put this on an SD card or a USB drive, but I recommend putting this onto your internal drive that you've added to your MPC X or MPC um, Live. Now, obviously, if you have an MPC One, you can't do this like that, but you can use your SD card or your thumb drive if you choose, and you can put an external hard drive. You can connect the external hard drive to that, but it will work. You can add external hard drives to your MPC one. So that's what you would do. You would put that on your MPC on your external hard drive, your internal drive, SD card or USB. But when you go in there, you see that you have all this stuff in here, right? And I just added this first I, I added this whole folder. You don't want to do that. Okay. Let me minimize that. You want to take this synth folder right here. The synth folder and you want to drag this to your drive. Now what I have right here Oh, Caesar is my drive for that. I'll put it in there. Okay. Since I already have it in here, it's going to ask me if I want to replace it. I'm going to push stop because I don't need to add it again. But you want to put that into your main drive. You want to have that synth folder because when you go into your MPC and standalone, that's, it has to say synth when you go into your browser for it to work properly. So now we're going to go back into standalone mode In standalone mode. What we're going to do is we're going to go to this middle spot where it has like a little plug. That's your plug in. And then you're going to double click. You're going to double click the tube synth. And there you go. As you can see, I have four new ones. I have hype, Mellotron, Odyssey and Selena. So we're going to we're going to open up the hype one because that one looked pretty dope. Open up the hype and then once you go up to once you hit menu, you can hit menu right there and go to program edit. 
and now there you go there's your plug-in and you see I'm getting sound everything is working the way it should be like let's check the presets make sure that all the presets are in there so we can go to warm right there and there go your your different presets too for for that one so we click on one and there you go you got your plugins in there so now you have 2.10 software updated on your mpc live and standalone and then you have your new instruments in there as well so this is all standalone this isn't standalone right now i think that's pretty sweet this update was a little different from the other updates so i made a couple mistakes but i'm glad that i was able to figure them out and show you guys so you won't have to make the same mistakes this is just the beginning i will be making more videos and going in depth in the 2.10 showing you guys some of the new features that we have within the new software update if you guys like this content if you really like this content consider subscribing because i have more videos on it and tutorials on the npc just like this one in the corner so you guys click on that video and check it out you guys stay safe be blessed and i'll see you in the next video peace